Good morning and welcome back to another episode of The Daily 5 at 10, your favorite five fish minute Ashley update. I'm your host, Jasmine Tran. And I'm Angela Lamb. Today is Friday, August 5th. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Any plans this weekend? I'm actually getting a new puppy this weekend. <gasps> no way. Yeah. What kind of puppy? It's gonna be a golden doodle. Oh. Yeah, I'm still deciding on the name, but I'm leaning towards Nella. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, Jasmine's a pretty cute name too, if you're still debating to name your puppy. Jasmine? Uh, yeah, sure. I think I'll have to think about that. Anyways, it's time for... What's going on in the SLA? Caught it get any better than this? Our SLA fishing trip is happening on August 13th. Our CE course supply chain issues and the impact on commercial transportation insurance is happening on August 18th. Moving on, it's time for our weekly segment, Friday's Top 5. <laughs> Here at the SLA, we seek to build relationships, not just with our members, but with our teammates as well. After all, one of our main core values is being collaborative. But how can you be collaborative without strong communication skills? On today's episode, we're going to share some tips on how to be an effective communicator to your team. Knowing how to effectively communicate can help in the long run by reducing miscommunication, fostering trust, and just overall being prepared for difficult situations. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting at number five, watch your tone and body language. Communication is more than just words you say, so try to, your best to avoid unintentional cues. For example, if you're tired or upset about something outside of work, team members you're trying to communicate with won't have the context and may assume that you're upset at them. Number four, talk face-to-face -face whenever possible, whether it's virtually or in person. Your tone may be difficult to communicate through writing, so you want your teammates to be able to see your body language and hear your voice. Also, your teammates may have different writing styles, so there may be some miscommunication about the message they're trying to convey over text. This leads us to the next point, number three. Aim for clarity. It is important to choose the right medium depending on what you're trying to say. Avoid using any jargon to decrease the chances of confusion. Keep it short and simple and to the point. Number two, stick to facts and not stories. Facts are things that have actually happened and something that everyone can easily agree on. Stories are your own assumptions and interpretations about the situation. It's easy to assume what a person's message may mean even if they didn't actually say it. As a result, this can spread miscommunication throughout the team. And lastly, number one, prioritize two-way communication. It is important to listen in communication just as it is to talk. There are two common types of listening, listening to reply and listening to understand. Try to listen to understand, that is, focusing on what the other person is saying rather than focusing on what to reply with next. And that's been Friday's Top 5. What a better way to bond with your team than giving gifts. It's time for the Daily Gift Away. So, what's today's National Day, Jasmine? Today's National Day is... Green Pepper Day. And today's winner will receive a $25 gift card to Safeway. So, let's pick today's winner. All right, the winner is... Meryl Benson, congratulations. Hmm, you pepper believe it. Into the winner's jar you go. Don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 slakehoworg to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. And that's all we have for today. We hope you all have a great weekend. Placing your daily work hot break, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Angela. Thank you and good morning. Okay. <laughs> it's madness back here. Okay. I'm so confused. Um, okay. I'm muting and ready when you are. Should I start back at the 